Hello everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a cool looking Polaroid photo effect from just a couple of layers and you know, you can always mix and match. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into this. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually start by creating um, the noise looking photo, like the small blur that you see in the Polaroid. So what we're going to do is go to the background layer, you're going to press Command J. Now what this is going to do is duplicate your layer. Now for if you're using I think a Windows computer, um, you could also do just simply drag the background to this thing and it duplicates it as well. But again, Command J or Control J and that duplicates your layer. So with the duplicated layer, you're going to go to Filter, Noise, and then Add Noise. Now, as you can see here, it's already created that small effect, the little dots and everything, which is noise. Um, we're going to keep it on monochromatic, and you can keep this. I mean, it depends, you know, what kind of, how strong you want the effect to be, but I'm going to keep it around 4%, 4.8%. Again, depends on your picture, how large your picture is. So um, I'm going to go ahead and press OK because this is the amount that I want. So now we can begin the actual coloring of this. Go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we're going to go to levels. Now in the levels um, adjustment layer, we're going to bring out the highlights. So simply bring that very last tab and you're just going to bump this up. And we're going to put this around 175, I think, or 73, it really doesn't matter. Again. We're not changing this. This stays at zero. This is one, and this is 173. So as you can see, just brought out the highlights, and we're making it look a little bit overexposed, which is what I think a Polaroid would kind of resemble. Now we're going to go to um, our co a solid color layer. So if you want to go to the very bottom tab here, just go to solid color. We're going to pick a yellow, and you can pick any yellow. And then we're going to press OK. And we're going to go from normal layer setting and we're going to go all the way down to exclusion. And exclusion is actually a really nice layer setting for vintage pictures. If you're looking to create a vintage look, just make sure you don't keep the opacity at 100% because it could scare some people. So what you're going to want to do is actually just bring it all the way down. And we're going to do this very subtly. I'm going to keep this to about 10%, I think. Again, you can always change this. It really doesn't matter right now. You can, again, if you feel like it's too much or too little, just go ahead and fix that. Um, next thing, go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we're going to go to gradient map. And for this one, we're going to choose a kind of like a brown to yellow. Where is it? This is where I play Where is Waldo. We could do this. Okay. So I'm going to pick one of these right here. What I'm going to do is make sure that I reverse this gradient. So you can, even if the gradient is yellow to brown or brown to yellow, it doesn't matter. Just press OK because you can simply reverse it. You can just reverse if it's the wrong thing. So uh, I'm going to keep it like this. And, and we're going from a normal layer setting to a multiply layer setting. And we're going to put this to around, let's see, let's try 58 for now. Just adding in some darker hues there. And then we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. So for the curves layer, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just play with, I literally always just play with curves. And you can kind of bring that up a little just to make it like a, like almost an S, like you just began to like write in kindergarten and you don't know how to write an S. So something like kind of like that, I guess. There we go. And then we, and then this is RGB, so we're going to go from RGB to red. And then very slightly just pull this up a tiny bit right here. And then there we go, just bring that here. So we're literally only touching this part. This We just want to bump up the reds just a little bit. So as you can see, just adding some more of that. Just a tiny bit of red. 
And then we're going to go to a uh, layer, or actually, I'm sorry, not layer. We're going to go over here, and we're going to go to gradient. So we don't want a gradient map. We just want a gradient. So that's what your gradient is going to look like to begin. But we actually don't want this color. We want a black color. So you're going to press on, you're going to just click on this little um, thing, and this is going to pop up. And then we're going to search for a black color, which is a black transparent gradient going from black to pretty much nothing. If you don't know how to use gradients or you need um, a tutorial on gradients, I do have one. So check out my other tutorials if you're interested. So we're going to press OK. From the style, we're going to go from linear to radial. And we're going to want to reverse this because we want the border to be um, have the black area. So again, you can play with this, which is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and scale. I just want the very, um, I want the very end edges to have this. So angle, I'm gonna keep it at 90. Everything else is good. And press OK. So we're gonna go from normal to overlay. Let's see how that looks. And again, very slightly. We're not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna add it to about like 30, 32 percent is pretty good. So then what we're going to do is add a dusty texture. And if you don't have a dusty texture, I have a bunch on my site. It's violetspell.com and you can get free textures there. Okay, so all that I did right now is copy and paste a texture that I got from my, from my website, violetspell.com. I will post a link on where to get these grunge dusty textures from. You can really just go anywhere and find them. But there's a wide variety, variety on my site that I've created myself. So again, we have just a regular texture, um, white specks and everything else, which is great. You want something that's on a black background. It's going to show more. So what we're going to do is go from normal to screen. And as you can see, all the dust is showing through, which is what we want. And you could end the tutorial here. You could say this is exactly what I want and, you know, nothing more. Or you can... Um, add another layer and kind of pop the colors out a little, which I'll show you um, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to New Adjustment Layer, and I'm going to go to Channel Mixer. And I really like Channel Mixer because you can really, really play around with the colors here. So I'm just going to go and see, kind of like go a little bit further down with the greens. And then blue, let's see what this does. We can go to negative... I'm going to bring up the constant as well. So what I'm trying to do is kind of bring a two-tone picture out. And as you can see, it's already creating that. So you could simply lower the normal layer setting to, to whatever you wanted. Or you can go to saturation. Or I'm sorry, was it saturation? Yep, it was saturation. And you can higher the opacity if you wanted it simply one color. But I'm going to, again, keep it on the normal layer setting because I think it gives it a cool look. So I'm going to keep it around there. So um, I'm going to show you the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Again, just a couple of layers. It looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. So um, this is the Polaroid effect. If you're wondering how to put this in a Polaroid, here's a, this is kind of like a bonus step, I guess. I'm just going to copy merge my whole thing. And what I did is I went on DeviantArt because they have a lot of these and they have these little Polaroid things. So um, I went on DeviantArt and I found these little, these cool little things, these Polaroid stocks. So I'm just going to copy and paste my image, hold Command T, and then I'm just going to mask it in there. Let's see. Let's fit this in here. If you really wanted to put it in the frame, I'll show you how. Um, I'm going to select, I'm going to get the magic wand tool, I wish there was a magic wand in real life, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to select the white area and then I'm going to, hold on. you want to select the whole white area and then you're just going to want to invert to select the black, take your image that you just applied on top of it and then just press the mask tool. So. That's pretty much it. You could um, add another background on top and then set it to screen also 
to make it even more because this has a dusty texture on it but some of them don't so there it is that I mean it's pretty simple to add it in here but if you use a mask it's a little easier so that is the end of the, the tutorial thank you so much for watching again this is the end product if you have any requests or anything please let me know I love to take requests thank you so much for watching